Now the evenings are getting colder and darker, I thought it would be a great time to give you an autumn evening routine. Now this is a little bit more of a Halloween-y evening and yes, we got lots of pumpkins and treats. So I thought we could decorate the house a little bit, but before we did that, I had to tidy the space. Guys, when I'm busy, this is literally the last of my resorts. And you know what? It's the one thing that makes me feel so good when I'm in a clear environment. And I always regret the fact that I've not worked harder to clean the space winds me up so anyway i decided to just tidy the lounge i did also tidy the kitchen a little bit and here's me just cleaning my table wiped down obviously the tv and yeah this was actually really funny because i'm really not a great cleaner and i felt like i was doing a cleaning tiktok vlog and that i looked really aesthetic and really cool so we got all of these cute decorations these candles honestly are so cute they were like in bone shaped i absolutely loved them i think some of these decorations will also take to the gym because we could definitely do with having the gym space decorated as well i turned these round so that the outside people could see but actually no one could really see them when i looked through the window so i actually ended up turning them back the right way once the space was looking a little more seasonal i thought it would be the best time to go and prep my lunch for tomorrow so i needed to head to sainsbury's i didn't have all the ingredients so quickly got my shoes on got myself ready and headed over to sainsbury's before it closed. I also needed to get some more steps in so we headed out for a walk after I headed to the shop. I just feel like sometimes it's so nice to clear my mind at the end of the day and going for a walk is something that I absolutely crave so we're so lucky to be living in such a lush area. Literally as you walk out of the front door we have so many fields and especially in sunset it is so beautiful. This evening actually was a little bit more grimy, it was not as lovely, it was definitely a gloomy evening but now Never mind, it still is so nice just to have a little look around and see the energy, feel the energy of nature and just have some fresh air because, you know guys, I mean I could talk about it forever but going for a walk literally is life. So I would always recommend doing that at the end of your day. I wish I had a dog to take for a little walk, maybe that's something that I should, uh, should be looking into getting. Hint, hint, Matt. So after the walk, we came home and prepped the food. It's literally a really quick and easy chicken dish, 35, 40 minutes in the oven and you are done. So chicken, drumsticks, lots of seasoned salt and pepper, and then just adding fresh tomatoes, basil and garlic. And honestly, it is so delicious. Matt absolutely loved it the next day. Um, sometimes we have it with rice, sometimes just with like bread and butter, and it's honestly so good. We then had a little bit more work to do. So we sat down, finalized the last bit of work and closed our laptops at around 6.30 p.m. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Okay, so we are going to start chilling for like a bit of a movie night now. We've just finished pretty much working, Matt's on his way back. So we stopped at the shop earlier and got some kind of like snacks that were just in the freezer and I just can't wait. Like they're the best kind of snacks for a, a movie night. Do you need to get it out of my real black spider web? I reckon Friday 13 or Nightmare on Elm Street. I want Scare. Alright, let's do Nightmare on Elm Street. You're watching Nightmare on Elm Street. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, sweet. Yes! Brah! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nice. They're gross. I hate them. <laughs> Are they actually bad? I don't think you can beat wedges, I don't. <laughs> you know it. Yeah. The film wasn't as scary as I'd actually hoped, but the evening was done and it was time to get ready for bed. So I literally put my pajamas on. I just wear these little bralettes and then any shorts I can get my hands on. I was actually gonna have a shower, but it was already feeling a little bit too late. It was like 10 p.m. at this point and I was not washing my hair at this time. One thing that I cannot stand is having that pressure of having to wash my hair and dry it in approximately 30 minutes and I was not going for it this time. So I popped my diffuser on and put my Minnie Mouse ears on to take all of my makeup off which 
I do all of the time and Matt always takes the mic, but I love my Minnie Mouse ears. We brush our teeth together. <laughs> Thank you. For a while my skin was super sore, so I was resulting just to using like the simple skincare. I don't know what it was, I just seemed to have a flare up and my skin has been feeling so much better since. So I have just been using the most simple products ever, but I definitely feel like after going on Roaccutane, I sometimes have to go for those really simple, clean products that are quick, easy and not too bad for your skin. <laughs> Matt's learning Japanese at the moment and it's winding me up because when we're in bed or like when we're watching something on TV or when I'm watching something on TV, he'll be doing it and he obviously talks under his voice and says something like, Konnichiwa. And I'm like, yeah, huh? And then and I'm like, oh, okay. Honestly, every time he says, I'm like, yes. And then I think he's talking to me and he's not. And um, I was going, huh? every time he said something. I was going, huh? And he was going, konnichiwa. <laughs> and uh, sushi. Every time. Like honestly, like 20 times per TV program. And I don't learn. Girls just wanna have fun. Finally, one of the most important parts of my evening routine is planning the day for the day ahead. Now, I always say a lack of consistency is just a lack of focus, so always ensure that you have the best focus possible in whatever it is that you want to achieve the next day. After this, I'll just sit in bed, have a little read or listen to an audiobook, whilst Matt is, yes, beside me learning Japanese because he is mental. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys.